I really like Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup as a game, but I've long been annoyed by its necromancy. The problem is that even though the game has apparently good necromancy in the later levels, it starts out initially having quite bad necromancy. The things that have set me about it are mainly that not every enemy that should drop a corpse does drop a corpse, and that the minions you make also run on timers. For me this leads to a frustrating gaming experience because you have unreliable access to minions due to how you can never know if an enemy is going to leave behind a corpse, and also if you do get a minion, it will vanish after a short time. Luckily the game is open source, so if you know a little bit of programming, you can easily fix these problems by changing the code and recompiling the game. I'm going to show you how to do this so that if you're like me, you can modify the game to better suit your tastes. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove the coin flip mechanic on corpse drops, so instead of having a 50% chance of getting a corpse, we will get a 100% chance instead. We're also going to remove the timers off the undead minions, so that they'll persist until destroyed. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is you need to go and clone the Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup repository. You can do that by visiting this URL. Obviously you don't need to visit it, but you just need to have it. And then what you can do is in the terminal, you can do a, you can do a git clone and then put that URL there and then just press enter. I'm not going to do it because I've already cloned the repository. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the coin flip mechanic on corpse drops so that every time a monster that can drop a corpse dies, it does actually drop a corpse. The function responsible for this is inside the mondef.cc file and it's called place monster corpse. The code we want to get rid of is this constable coin flip and the if check that will quit out prematurely if the coin flip is like unsuccessful or whatever. So what we can do is we can just select these two lines and remove them. You can also comment them out if you want. It will also work. But I'm just going to remove them. So now when the monster dies and this function is called, it's always going to drop a corpse. The next thing we need to change is we need to stop minions from expiring. So basically remove the timers. To do that, what we need to do is we need to go to the monster die function, which is somewhere in this file. Nope. 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 Is it that one? I don't think so this one. All right, this is the one. So this is called whenever a, a monster dies. And basically with this part, we need to add code. Now I've added this code here and you can add it to basically how this code works is the way I've implemented it surely isn't the best way because how it works, the way I've done it is that it will wait for the code that triggers the death of a minion to be called, and then it interrupts it. A better way would be to stop the code from being triggered at all in the first place, but the code base for this game is pretty big. I don't have the desire to invest lots of time into learning the ins and outs of it right now. So for the short term, this code will do. I suspect that the code responsible for triggering the death of a minion is somewhere inside the deleededactions.cc file or deactions.cc file. If we open that one, the actions, this one, this file is responsible for everything that should happen, like sort of like a queue of actions. So actions can be queued up. And one of these actions is the, the death of a minion. So when you spawn it, an action will be queued for it to be destroyed later on. If you could find a way of stopping the entry in this queue for your minions, this would be a better way of doing it. But just looking at it, it's a little bit too complicated for me to be breaking my head against right now. So I found it easier just to intercept it right here and just quit out. So anyway, to explain the code a little bit, basically 
To stop the minion from being killed by the timer, we first check if the killer is of type kill misc or kill miscast. I couldn't tell you exactly why, but this in this situation, this is when it's expiring. So if the killer is one of these two, it could be expiring the, the minion. Then what we do is we check if the minion type, or the, the monster type rather, is a zombie, a skeleton, or a death scarab. And if it is, then we just return a null pointer. So it's pretty much just checking if the delay, if the monster die is of the type a minion expiring, and it's the, the monster type of one of our minions, then we just quit out prematurely. And with those two changes, your minions will be both permanent and you'll always get a corpse. One other final change I did was, is I added just a little bit of Chip Gonez shit to the title page so that I know that it's a modded version. Anyway, if we compile this and we run it, the first thing we can do is we can check the git status. And you'll see that we've modified those two files. We do a git diff on the mon def.cc file. Oh, come on, I don't want any updates. Jeez. You'll see that we've removed the coin flip code and we've added this code to stop our minions from expiring, which is perfect. That's all we want. If we check the other file, it's just that little change to the title I mentioned. And there goes, so I just added my chip going there shit in red. So now what we can do is we can go make, and if we want a graphical version, what we do is we type tiles equals yes, and then we just hit enter. And now it's building the game. I just have to wait a little while for it to do its stuff. For you, this will take much longer, but I've already compiled it a couple of times, so it only had to change the little parts that I modified just then. So now if we do run the game, you'll see it worked. We've got our compiled version. And you'll see it's got the Chip Gonez edition up here. So we know that we're running the right version here. Now, if we make a new game, I'm going to go for a Hillock Necromancer. I'll just go for a random name. So here we've got our little game. I'm just going to memorize the animate dead spell. Yep, memorized it. So now we can play the game and we should have permanent minions. We can test this out. Let's kill some of these idiots here. Oh, of course, don't have any mana. Wonderful. It would be funny if our first character died before he could make a single minion. Whew, lucky. Forgotten the command to rest, what was it? Five. I thought that's what I've been pressing. Oh, I turned numlock off. I don't know why that's not working. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now if we reanimate some minions. Z star B. Okay, so now these minions should persist forever and not expire. Of course, this idiot's gonna rain on our parade and kill our minions. But if I just, if I just wait a long ass time, you'll notice that our minion is not expiring. If it was normal dwarf, if it was normal DCSS, our minion would be gone by now. 
What it doesn't fix is that the minions are still weak as piss. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a long time just to prove the point that the minion is not going to expire. Rest and heal. Notice he's hanging around much longer than they would normally hang around. So we can tell for sure that the code is working. And you'll notice that every monster we've killed has also dropped a corpse. So if these two changes, you can really have a lot more fun with the game. See, always a corpse. 100% chance of getting a corpse. Let's animate some more dead. Let's get ourselves a big army here. Where have our worthless minions gone? There they are. So it does appear to be working. Yep, always dropping a corpse. So yeah, if you do these changes, the game would be a lot more fun for you, probably. Like it has been a lot more fun for me. Now the issue is, is that compiling this on Windows is a gigantic pain in the ass. So as you saw on Linux, it goes really easily, but on Windows, uh, not so much. They've got these install instructions here. And for Windows, you've got various options. You've got msys, which is the recommended option. Then you've got the Windows subsystem, which I haven't tried actually. Might be worth trying that later on. And then Visual Studio. With msys, I was able to get it to sort of work. I could compile the non-tiles version. So I've got an msys window here somewhere. It's the Sigwin Windows I was mucking around with. Where's the msys one? Here it is. So with the msys one, I was able to compile it and you can't run it from the, from the command line for whatever reason, you have to actually go and open like uh, an explorer window. And then, oh, where's that shit gone? It is here, msys home user file, crawl, crawl ref, source, and then there's a crawl exe. This is the one that I've built. If you run this shit, you see chip gainers edition. But the issue is, is this without tiles, so. Which is fine, you know, you can play without tiles. It's a little bit ugly. Um, it works. You can totally play like this. There's a bat up there, you see? The letter B. If we can zap this fool. Die, punk ass bitch. Okay, we killed him. Um. 
I think there's a corpse here. ZB. I don't have enough mana. Great. Well, this is fun. What the hell's going on? Everything all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let me move, goddammit. Numpad has stopped working. Most interesting. Now it works again. Okay. And killed that guy. Okay, we've got finally got ourselves. I don't have enough mana. That'd be right. Now I've got mana. Okay, we've got two skeletons. A bat and a goblin skeleton. What have we got here? A bow, I think. Is it? Stones. In any case, you can see that, you know, the minions are not expiring. And we can zap dudes. Okay, it's working. Yeah, it. But if we try and do it with tiles, it's not going to work. Let me demonstrate. So, with tiles, I have actually installed the bullshit that should be needed to install it. For example, um, in the main directory, we have Ming64 shit, and then include lib lib png yeah this shit so we have that file when I make this shit with tiles it can't find it really annoying I tried the same shit in sigwin which is like a similar thing It whines about some stuff not being able to f get found or whatever, be found. So this one, it, it bitches about, you know, it can't find the shit. But the shit is definitely there, you know, like... Ming G64, whatever. The PNG. Wait, what am I looking for? Include then the PNG. Yeah, it's there. So it's like, you know, fatal error, blah, blah. Can't find the shit. Well, the shit is there. I spent quite a while trying to fix this and it just hasn't been working. I've been slowly losing more and more sanity. That's why I decided to see if Sigwin would work. Sigwin also doesn't work. I think Sigwin tiles works. Let me see. Maybe it does work, maybe it doesn't. We can just go to the Sigwin folder. Home crawl source. No, it won't even build the executable. I'm pretty sure I got it to build the executable before. I don't know why it's broken now. But you can build the, the executable in um, in MSYS, but not with tiles. I also tried it in Visual Studio, and that didn't work either. So my last option is to try and make it work with the stupid... Well, what's it called again? The Windows subsystem. Wish me luck. Because you don't want to be building this shit yourself, let me tell you that. Unless it's on Linux where it goes super smooth. If you can manage to do that, all power to you. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been informative and is going to help you get a better gaming experience from this very interesting roguelike. Got more videos and necromancy stuff coming soon.